Welcome back to the Team to Be Miami Heat basketball channel. The Miami Heat defeated the Orlando Magic 123 to 110 on Sunday in the last regular season game of this year's uh, NBA season. And Miami Heat's veteran power forward Udonis Haslam played his last regular season game of his illustrious 20-year career, and he went out with a bang. He scored 24 points in 25 minutes. He also added three rebounds. Udonis was also three from seven from three-point range, which is also incredible because coming into this game in his 20-year career, he's only hit three total three-pointers. Um, so huge accomplishment for Haslam to be in the league for 20 years, but also more importantly, being an undrafted player who's been able to stick with that same team that gave him an opportunity back in 2003. So Kudos to uh, Adonis Haslam. Congratulations to a, a great career. Um, Udonis scored the most points in a game um, since 2009. So what a surreal ending you know, to, to his career. Um, this was Haslam's 879th game um, and final regular season game with the Miami Heat. Heat coach Eric Spolstra um, reiterated before Sunday's game just how much he is going to miss having the 42-year-old in the locker room next season. So Spolstra said, I'm going to miss his spirit. I'm going to miss his voice. I'm going to miss his intentions. He has incredible, pure team intentions every single day. He doesn't have a bad day. He may express himself with anger other times at his teammates or even with me, but his intentions are pure. He doesn't have bad days. There's not a moodiness he doesn't come in with any kind of baggage. It's pure. It's always about winning. How can he help somebody else? How can he help the team? How can he help mentor? That's what keeps his mind going constantly. The Miami Heat showed a nice tribute video for Haslam before Sunday's game that include um, messages from both Coach Spo and Miami Heat President Pat Riley, as well as some of his teammates like LeBron James, Mike Miller, Jay Will, Gary Payton, Dwayne Wade, and more. Haslam um, stood at the center court with his family and his wife, Faith, um, and gave a heartfelt heat message to uh, his fans. Haslam also gave a brief speech to the crowd thanking the Heat fans for all of their support through the years. Um, Haslam was originally signed as an undrafted free agent from the University of Florida in 2003 and was a key member of Miami's rotation during all three of the Miami Heat's championships. So um, while he has rarely played in recent years, he is respected up and down the entire organizations for his leadership style and his passion. If anyone, in my opinion, embodies the Miami Heat culture, it's definitely Udonis Haslam. The past several years, um, you know, Haslam has played sparingly, as I mentioned, um, and he hasn't appeared in more than 16 games in a season since the 2016-2017 season. Um, but fortunately, fans got to see him on the court one last time on Sunday, and he showed that he's ready. He stayed ready. Um, you know, he's been preparing actively over the past four or five years, even though he hasn't been getting much playing time, but he's been staying in shape, um, and he's been ready. Like, when given an opportunity, he wanted to show that, you know, he's even though he's 42 years old, there's a reason why he's still in the NBA and still capable of playing um, at that age, which is quite spectacular to imagine being 42 and still being able to compete in an NBA game. Um, so the Miami Heat finished the season um, in seventh place in the Eastern Conference Finals, which is just far below expectations that most ha fans had this year. But that means since we're the seventh seed, we have at least two more games in the postseason, if you want to call the play in the postseason. Um, I don't know if Haslam's going to play in any of those games. I doubt he's going to be in the rotation for these playing games or if they somehow make it into the playoffs. But, um, you know, who knows? <laughs> Haslam proved to be effective as a possible stretch for even at age 42. So um, it's certainly been a wild ride for the Miami Heat and especially for Udonis Haslam spending the last two, two decades representing the Heat as an undrafted player. So that's just incredible to think of. Um, and while he was never a star in the NBA, he was a quintessential role player and leader for the Miami Heat in that locker room, helping the franchise bring home three titles in a span of eight years. So 
happy he was able to secure his first ring with with Dwayne Wade in 05 06 um and so happy to see him be a part of that big three era as well even though he played primarily off the bench he still proved to be really valuable and reclaimed his starting job in that third campaign so kudos to Haslam for a great career um who's a Miami Heat lifer hopefully he'll be a part of the organization moving forward in some capacity whether he's a trainer coach or possible owner who knows we'll see um next up for the Heat they're playing the Atlanta Hawks in the play-in game tomorrow um at 4 30 uh, Pacific time at home against again the Hawks and the Heat have had the Hawks number so um Heat are expected to win I expect them to win this game if they do then they'll be officially locked in as a seventh seed and will play against the Boston Celtics so which is not the best consolation prize if you ask me so anyway thanks for tuning in and watching the video excited still excited I guess I'm not very excited but I am a loyal diehard Heat fan so I am excited for this play-in and excited to potentially play at the Celtics and possibly get revenge from last year so more to come talk to you guys soon thanks for watching take care